Following the instruction on page 9, we're going to compute the median. And we're going to do this for the spending data. So if you recall, this was the spending data stem and leaf plot. Um, it was formed by taking the observations in the grocery store, ranking them, put, putting them in numerical order. First step with them in numerical order and then um, what we did was uh, to make the stem and leaf plot as a two digit uh, plot we had to round all of the values and we did this because the um, in this case the decimals didn't add too much information uh, that we needed we had enough information in the, in the whole numbers themselves so we have the numbered ranked data and we want to find the median. The median will be located at the n plus 1 over 2 observation. Okay, so that's where we're going to find the median. What would that be? What is the n plus 1 over tooth observation? Well, n in this problem is equal to 50, so we take 50 plus 1 over 2. So you add them first and then divide by 2 because that's um, how we interpret the equation. So that's 51 over 2, and you'll find that it's 25.5. What does that mean? It means that the median will be, fo be found at the average of the 25th and 26th observation. Okay, so where is that going to be? Pretty clear since I have everything ranked in order. Um, if it wasn't, you would have to put them in order. So here's the 25th, here's the 26th observation. Let's take the average of them, and that will be your median. So 20.58 plus 20.89 divided by 2 gives you your median in this case. This happened because 50 was... Uh, an even number, and with an even number, you don't have an exact middle. Okay, and so you got to take the two middle observations and average them. Your answer is rounding to two decimal places, it's 20.74. Since the units are dollars, this would be twenty point seventy four, twenty dollars and seventy four cents.